Good morning, guys. Uh, we are racing to the barn. No time for hair. No time for breakfast. I've got my jelly beans. My blood sugar's a little low. Hashtag barn life. guys I don't know if I told you guys but I had to put my car in the shop yesterday because the brakes were bad and I kept saying to Sam I'm pretty sure it's not the brakes every time I pushed on the gas everything was good every time I took my foot off the gas but not touch the brake it would like make this crazy sound and it was a loose tire isn't that crazy like I've been driving around with a loose tire and it was getting worse and worse so anyway my car's fixed the trailer is in the shop and Sam has so many plans for it he's like do everything to it he's gonna fix all the holes put new sheet metal on he's gonna want some patched he's getting new doors in the back some new lights some new windows I don't even know but it's gonna be awesome so anyway let's go to the barn is everybody happy yeah yeah I think they're grouchy because we got out of bed and hit the ground running because again yeah because I've been like saying let's go let's go let's go We are at the barn, and in lieu of the fact that I have a broken foot, the girls have been going down to get the horses without me. I'm still going, I like to take them back, but I'm trying to go as less as possible. I wanted to say a thank you to all of you guys that um, sent prayers up for Brooklyn and that offered support for her. Um, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Basically, she started throwing up and she couldn't keep anything down and um, my daughter-in-law kept taking her to the hospital and three times she took her to the hospital because she kept on throwing up. She got severely dehydrated over the course of three days, four days, and they put her in the hospital, um, gave her some IV fluid, did some tests and found out that she was severely constipated. Um, my daughter-in-law was giving her medication to stop the fevers. She had, um, Tylenol and Tylenol always constipates her so she doesn't feel like that was the issue of why she was throwing up but when the hospital saw how badly constipated she was they decided that was the issue and they gave her a lot of medicine and kept her in until that was resolved so she's home she's doing better she was doing better came home from school again yesterday almost a week later and started vomiting again so she vomited twice yesterday yesterday and today she just woke up she was up late at the hospital last night uh, they did not admit her again they just brushed it off and said she's probably okay but um, if it starts again where she just can't keep anything down I don't know what she's gonna do it's hard do you guys ever have that experience where you go to the hospital because you know something's not right and then they just kind of say oh she's just throwing up take her home she'll be okay well that's basically what's been happening over and over and over until it got to a level that they had to admit her so I don't know what's happening if you guys have any um, experience with this let me know in the comments below but um, I'm hoping it's not gonna be another weekend like last weekend where um, she's stuck in the hospital and another thing my son the dad he's away with work right now so Stacy is alone and now we're away with two kids trying to deal with it all on our own. I feel really bad for her and I feel really bad for Brooklyn. But anyway, I just wanted to update you guys on that while I wait for my girls. Every single time I don't go down there with you, you catch him napping. Yeah. He's dirty, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, there's my two princesses. Oh, Last one she said? She's yeah. like, whoa, where am I? <laughs> Spencer number two. Look, it looks like there's a little heart at the top of his head there. Yeah. This looks like a speech bubble. I think he's like, let me sleep. Take me back to my nap. That's a girl, Gabby. You got it. Does he seem less sore? This is practice. We're just practicing. She still seems to be moseying along in a weird way. I'm going to get Stella. Stella's brand new. Sophie just got her. Yeah, Sophie's new pony. 
there she already knows that the breathing means stop. See, look. We have to teach that, right? She just so, went over. The more, she's super smart. She's, oh, she's oh my gosh, she's adorable. So something that we have not been ex sharing with you guys is that Gabby's really struggling cantering jumps. What happened was about a month ago, she was doing great and then our instructor told her she needed to start light seating to the jump. And light seating in a canter over jumps has proven to be something that's really scary to her. The last two times that she's jumped light seating over the jump, she's cried the whole entire time because it's been so scary. And it's hard for her because it's hard for her to admit that she can't do something and that something is scary for her. She has a huge block. It's new. She's not going backwards, but she's she's struggling to find something that feels normal again. Like she feels lost and I feel really bad for her. And so this is what we're working on right now. So we're here. Uh, yesterday we decided she can't show jumping if she can't canter to the jumps. Okay. Um, jumping now? Jumping now? You've been out there a long time, Gabby. I've been pushing away everybody I love. I don't know what to do. Need a sign from above. I just want to be somebody who knows Who knows how to behave But I'm not even close Won't you save, 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 save me Won't you save, 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 save me I am out here alone Cause there's nobody left I need someone to talk to This girl just does whatever we ask, doesn't put up any fuss Oh, I asked our coaches in there Why, what did she do? Before when it was someone's lesson and I was in there with Harry walking around Remember when Gabby wasn't riding? Um, our coach was in there and she had to go with her coach. Yeah, all the horses do that. They always want to be surrounded by our instructor because they love her. Yeah, because it's the food person, like. Right? Yeah, she's the food girl. But they still love her because she's also the snuggle girl. She's also the, the girl who does everything with she's them. She's also the... Look how snuggly she is. <laughs> she's still moving in her mouth and chewing a bit, even though her teeth are, are just done. Moving? Show them your teeth. She doesn't, do. she doesn't like to show them, show people her teeth. Uh, like, don't look at my teeth. Anyway. Okay, I have to get a snack. The vet said that her teeth definitely look like she's 12, like the like her old owner said she was. Gabby does not give Storm his food from her hand because she doesn't want to make him pushy, but it's never, nothing's going to make him pushy. Oh. She puts it on a bowl or on the floor. Look how slow he is. He's like, I'll get every single crumb. We're ready to go, dude. Stella gets a baby carrot. She just gets a tiny one. Cause she is a good girl. You guys, I can't even get over her personality. Like, you guys, oh, so, um, Sam decided to publish the video that we made when we went to go try her. So you guys probably have already seen it. I think it's gonna have gone up last night. And um, she looked really rough in it. Don't get upset or, or whatever. Um, she definitely had sore feet. And um, our instructor could see the diamond in the rough and knew that she'd be able to come through all the things that were wrong with her. And she's been so incredible, right? We just have to get her perfectly sound now. But she's been like amazing, absolutely amazing. Her personality, our instructor said if we chose not to keep her, she'd still be staying here. That's how amazing she is. Like she just has, she's just, She's just a gentle, gentle soul. And she just, it doesn't matter what you want to do. She's like, okay, let's just do it. Perfect for us, huh? Mm -hmm. You're perfect for us. For Sophie. And that boy is your dream. This girl is my He's dream. your pony, Gabby, and nothing's ever going to change that. He's just your boy. This is just my mare. And that's just your mare. But can I ride her sometimes? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Like only in lessons. Oh, you're not going to share her with me in the winter? 
Maybe. I hate riding in winter. It's too cold. Yeah, so I'll be her winter winter girl and you'll be her summer girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have so many amazing plans this summer. We're gonna uh, go camping with our horses. I'm gonna book that probably next week. Like, we're not going next week, but I'm gonna try and book it, see all the things I need to do. Um, and hopefully, I have to book it for like the end of the summer, August, so that we can get Stella really good before we go. So it's super emotional watching Gabby struggle over the tawniest jumps because she's so afraid and has this horrible block. Like. I just want to cry. I feel like she's losing something that she had and was so good at. Like, it's just awful. But, Jesse, one of the girls that ride here, pointed out to me that um, the exact same thing happened to her. That she was riding Spencer around, jumping jumps and doing amazing. And then she got Nikki, her horse, this horse, who I'm taking down. And she said that... As soon as she got her, everything changed. She couldn't jump anymore, she was afraid. It just all fell to pieces for her. And that's what happened with Gabby. And so she said what she did was she went back to flat and she just started doing flat, 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 flat. And then poof, she got confident and not jumping anymore made her like crave it and miss it and want to do it. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go back to basics with Gabby. And it's just heartbreaking because she wants to do it. She's just blocked, she can't do it. What? No. Well yeah, you can if you want to, but I better not ride her down yet. Her feet are still, she still needs time. Still needs time before she can be ridden down. Anyway. Um, another thing is, um, She's not going to show this weekend because the only other class that she can show in, she hasn't been practicing that and she just tried to give her a lesson today. She doesn't feel comfortable and that's heartbreaking too because she was so excited and she had her heart all set up on it and was so excited and now she's not going to do, do it. But So yeah, yeah, that story of today has been going on the last three days. It's been heartbreaking you guys. because I'm not ready to show. Yeah, you're not ready. Is it okay that you're not ready? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Everybody develops at their own level, their own speed, their own time, and lots of you guys are probably thinking, wow, I like flew past all this stuff, and she's just not ready, and that's okay. It's okay. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.